my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this look. It is a Gigi Hadid inspired look. I saw it on Pinterest. I'll have to look up what it's from. I don't know if it's from a red carpet or what, but I thought it was really pretty and it's an inspired look, not really a recreation this time because I I, didn't, I couldn't find like the matching lip color, so this is kind of my own take on it. So I hope you all enjoy watching it and I'll see you all soon. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am actually going to try a voiceover for the first time, so bear with me on that. Um, I hope that you enjoy the video and if you want to see the final transformation, just keep watching. Okay, so I already applied my foundation. I use the same BB cream all the time. It's by Tarte. I love it. It's amazing. And I also use the same Smashbox primer that I always use. It's the oil control one that I have to use because Florida. Um, now I'm just adding a little more of my NARS creamy concealer to a couple of blemishes and to my under eyes because I felt like I needed them to be a little brighter and then I just blend that out with my beauty blender and sometimes I'll use a brush but usually for my concealer I use a beauty blender. Now I'm going to set my face with the smooth operator powder. This matches the BB cream perfectly which I love. You never have to worry that you're going to be like two different shades and I'm just going to put that all over my face. Blend, blend, blend. Bring it down the neck, obviously. Now I'm going to remove any wrinkles, crinkles, dinkles, and flinkles <laughs> to my under eyes before I set it with my, um, what is it called? Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oh my God, brain fart. So I use that to set my under eyes and then I also use it to just kind of brighten my chin area and my T-zone. Oh, and I also use it to set my eyelids before I apply um, eyeshadow. Now I'm brushing up my brows before I use my Gimme Brow. I'm obsessed with Gimme Brow. It, it just like creates the most natural eyebrow effect in my opinion. I love it. It's amazing. And I already kind of have bushy-ish brows, I guess. So that just kind of just helps define them a little bit. Now I'm just going to take a Q-tip and clean up any extra brow product, if you will. I had like too much on the top and I just like do that so that it makes the shape a little crisper. Now I'm taking a little more of the translucent powder and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes before I start my eyeshadow. This helps if you have fallout. So if you have fallout with any of the eyeshadow, you can just wipe that away at the end and you won't have like that weird, you know, gross fallout. Anyways, so I'm taking the lightest shade and I'm applying that everywhere. And then I took the second lightest shade and I just kind of applied that in the crease in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the third lightest shade or the third darkest shade. And that is just going in the outer corner and a little bit into the crease, but mostly focusing on the outer corner with the darkest color. Um, and then I bring it down to my lower lash line. This is just going to create that lifted effect that both Gigi and Bella have. Now I'm going to take this beautiful foil eyeshadow. This is from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea and it is in color Champagne Kisses. It is so stunning. Like this is the most beautiful foil palette I've ever seen. I honestly, I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, I will link it down below. And I'm just applying that all over the lid. Gigi's lid was like, I think definitely they use some type of foil shadow or it almost looked like a wet look in a way. So that's like what I'm using to achieve that. 
now I'm just blending it out a little bit with a brush so there's less harsh of a line and then I'm going to take the Anastasia glow kit palette in gleam yeah gleam and I'm just taking the color crushed pearl and I'm applying that to the inner corners to add a little bit of a brightening effect and then bringing a little bit onto the lash line not too much and then I'm going to take a little bit more of the second to last darkest color in the Smashbox palette and just blend that on my lash line a little bit more. And I'm gonna mix the Crushed Pearl and Mimosa together and apply that on my brow bone just to add a little bit of highlight to the brow bone. And then the next step is to do the eyeliner. So I'm using a shadow for the eyeliner I'm just taking the darkest brown shade in the Smashbox palette. I'm still using that same Smashbox palette and I'm going to just create a little bit of a wing. It's not too dramatic. I'm just basically following my lash line and bringing it out a little bit in a straight kind of motion. I guess you would say and then I'm going to do it on the other side and again you kind of just want to go straight across and not make it too much of a I don't know cat eye anyways then I actually went in and I darkened it a little bit with the black in the Smashbox palette and now I'm adding bronzer to my face I really didn't contour per se I more just bronzed my face I brought it on my forehead on my cheeks and then down um, to kind of define my chin area my jaw now I'm taking this beautiful blush by Becca and unfortunately they don't have this one anymore it was like a Jaclyn Hill collab I believe but it's really pretty it's just a light pink and I'm applying that all over my cheeks um, not too too much because it didn't look like Gigi had a crazy amount and now I'm just eliminating any extra shine that I have so I don't look like a greasy grease ball but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add shine to my face with this beautiful highlighter you know you eliminate shine from some places you add it to others it really makes no sense but at the end of the day you look good <laughs> I guess okay now lips so I'm doing a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner this is pillow talk it's like the perfect color that matches my lips I'd say and Gigi's lips were a lot more of like a brownie nude this is more of a pinky nude but I don't look good in that color like that brownie nude color so this is what we're using like I said it's an inspired look not a recreation and I'm just going to apply that everywhere on my lips make sure the shape looks good and not too crazy and then I'm gonna take pillow talk lipstick and apply that everywhere I love this shade it's actually like so pretty and then what I do is I actually go back over it with a little bit of the nearly there lipstick by Maybelline you'll see in a second I also like blotted my lips a little bit so that they would be a little neuter and then yeah so the nearly there lipstick is going on and it adds like a pretty sheen and then I'm going to um, curl my eyelashes and I usually curl them like it's like 10 times that I try and do it to really lift them lift them to the skies and then I, here you go, 
this is my final look. final look. I just added some mascara and um, I added a little bit of gloss just on top to kind of add, it a, add a little more sheen. And yeah, then I got dressed and put some earrings in and I'm going to go to dinner now. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I will probably do another recreation video because I love doing them. But if you have any other suggestions, just let me know and I will probably do it. Probably not. I'm not sure. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. Goodbye.